Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and here's your weekly astrology for the week starting the 24th of April. And it's not a bad little week. We have Venus, the planet of love, shifting signs, and a lovely little trine. Having said that, of course, we still have Pluto retrograde and Mercury retrograde. Here's your weekly astrology. Virgo, this week you're going to want to get Higgy. That's the kind of, I think it's Norwegian, something like that, Scandinavian (laughs) word for being cosy and really enjoying life's simple pleasures. You particularly want to heal and resolve something to do with your family or your home. And we have a Mercury, your ruler, although retrograde, trining Saturn the serious. You want to make a commitment and you want to deal with some things. Because Mercury is retrograde, you may be dealing with some past pain connected to your childhood or family members and, you know, things that actually affected your whole being. You know, if we're criticised as a child or somebody calls us lazy, for instance, that can impact us 20, 30, 40 years later. If there's something negative happened in your first sexual relationship, that can impact how open you are now when it comes to your lovers. You know, all of that stuff is on your mind and you might be talking to someone from the past about things that happened in the past and while it's uncomfortable it may be deeply healing for you but fundamentally you're making a commitment to yourself to build solid foundations in your home and you know okay you might let go of someone from your past but you're feeling much more secure within yourself now the new moon on the 26th is making you feel jolly adventurous you want to explore this is a new cycle that lasts six months in some cases for a year where you're going to the next level of whatever energy this particular moon is and this one is all about adventure and opening your heart and broadening your horizons and experiencing things differently Uh, you also as it's sextile neptune want to be more adventurous when it comes to your relationships do different things if you're in a relationship uh, or possibly you want to meet someone who kind of stretches you and takes you out your comfort zone Be a little bit cautious, though, because Venus, the planet of love, is also entering your primal position. On the one hand, you can have great sensual, intense times, very connected, very naughty. But it can also mean that, you know, as it's your primal zone, you might suddenly feel jealous or obsessional or get caught up in a power struggle with a lover, which is, you know, don't do that. Take the wonder of this magical, deep, erotic time, but don't sort of... Get involved in something that makes you feel, you know, a negative emotion like jealousy. Because all that stuff, again, goes back to the past. You know, when we get jealous, it's usually through fear or insecurity. Now, with Mercury conjunct Uranus on the 28th, you're having a very intense conversation with someone. And you also have a brilliant idea about how to feel more powerful in your life and how to possibly connect to dealing with wealth in some way, whatever that should mean to you but it's a very it's a very deep it's a very intense week but it has great treasure and rewards take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon thank you so much for watching please like and share if you do and I've got a little present for you. If you go to horoscope.co.uk, I now have not only a free chart wheel, but free birth chart interpretation. So pop along and have a look. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.